Oh, I, uh, I, I think back on my time spent at Fort Lee almost on a daily basis, and uh, my wife Bonnie and I talk all the time about uh, our fond memories uh, living in Fort Lee. Oh, it was probably one of the most uh, beautiful experiences of both my wife and, and my lives. Uh, as well, our, our children were very small, our boys were very small. Well, actually, the first time we lived in Fort Lee, they, they weren't born yet, but uh, the, the last time I played in the 98 season, both my children were very young, five, six, maybe five or six years old, and was my older son Matthew, and Michael was two. So they were very young, so they don't remember much, but my wife and I always talk about our great times uh, spent in Fort Lee, and uh, how we wish we were back there sometimes. Do you remember any teammates? Uh, oh, I remember all my teammates. I don't, uh, you know, I occasionally hear from a couple of them uh, through Facebook. Uh, I think, uh, you know, through Facebook, you know, that's how I got to know you. And, uh, and uh, but I also see a lot of my teammates on Facebook, Facebook like uh, Davide Ciccarelli, uh, Giancarlo Giletti, Marco Bonamico, and uh, occasionally we'll contact each other that way. So can you tell us something curious about one player in particular? Um, I was thinking about that. I saw in your email, I, I, you know, um, I don't know if I have anything uh, curious to tell you about any of them, but uh, they were all great guys, uh, they were all great teammates, and they were fun to be around. And uh, the experience we had in uh, 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 back in uh, the first year when Planta was the sponsor, when we, we went to A1, uh, was a great experience, as well as the following year uh, when, um, when we brought, the uh, team brought in Bob McAdoo, and we remained in A1. Those were, those were great team and great teammates. And uh, I think everyone involved in the organization were, were really good people. And um, I'm still in contact with a lot of them today. So. Yeah, absolutely, I miss your city. Um, uh, one of the favorite things my wife and I liked to do was on Saturday evening was walk down through the square uh, with all the people. Um, there's such a passion for basketball in Fort Lee that uh, it's, a, it's a great place to play. Um, uh, and the, 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 the people of Fort Lee always want to know things about the team. They're always supporting the team. And uh, so I think one was just the people. I miss the people uh, from Fort Lee uh, the most. Uh, but also getting to eat at places like Alfio's Restaurant. Uh, you can't find places like that uh, in the United States. So, um, but so first the people, then second the food. I think I had great relationships with the coaches. Uh, you know, my first year it was Cesare Pancato was the coach, and um, uh, I think we, you know, we had a so-so season. We we barely survived. We didn't uh, um, qualify for the playout, but we stayed in A2. Uh, the second and third year, Virginia Bernardi. Uh, you know, the results speak for themselves. And uh, actually, I had a chance to speak to uh, Coach Bernardi maybe about a month ago. Uh, I spoke to him and uh, get, got a chance to catch up on some things. So. Uh, and then the last year I was there was uh, Stefano Pilastrini was the coach, and they all brought their different styles uh, of, of 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 coaching. Um, some of them uh, were you know were more tactical than others, but uh, I think uh, my relationships with all my coaches, not only in Italy but in Italy in general, were always uh, very strong. Um, the only thing that I, I can think of is when uh, uh, the first year uh, when uh, 
Um, prior to games and the pregame talk in the locker room, um, uh, Coach Pancato would always end his with, uh, oh, finito, I'm finished, uh, which I was just, it was, it was just a strange, uh, thing, uh, you know, that I had never experienced before. But, uh, um, I think with Virginio Bonatti, he was a very emotional coach, very emotional, um, and uh, that's how he motivated you, was getting very emotional. So, uh, they all, like I said, had their different, uh, characteristics, but, uh, I enjoyed playing for each of them. Um, actually, none of the coaches could speak in English when I was there. I mean, it was much, it was much different. You know, um, for most of my career, you had foreigners uh, that were allowed. You know, and so um, I think one of the one of the, the one of the things I point to, even though we're speaking in English, I think my Italian was pretty proficient when I lived in Italy. And I could communicate in Italian. I could live in Italy on a daily basis. And I think what helped that was the fact that in Fort Lee, uh, when I, in the late 80s, early 90s, there wasn't a ton of people that spoke English that were related to the team. Um, the only person that I knew that really spoke English was Maurizio Garibini, the general manager. Uh, and occasionally, you know, Marco Bonamico was in English. Um, but uh, very rarely, the, the, the only a few players would know certain words in um, would know certain words in uh, uh, in English. So uh, today, obviously, it's difficult. You can have, I think, up to five foreigners on a team, and you can have a foreign coach. And so now it's imperative that uh, that the coach knows English. Um, I would say um, to the players that come over, try to learn the language because uh, it, it, it's a much better experience if you do. I know the players, like I played two years in a race near Milan, uh, and um, well, many people spoke English there. So my teammates a lot of times would come over and not learn, um, well, they would learn very little Italian. And so that helped me because they would have to translate what the coaches were saying. But uh, today, it's obviously much more important than it was, I hate to say, 20 years ago when I played in Fort Lee. Oh, absolutely! I follow the uh, I follow the games on uh, on the internet if I have a chance, um, and they're following. It's difficult to get video uh, of when the teams are playing live, but sometimes I can get uh, links to games afterwards, and I'll watch links. Or if not, I'll just watch um, the, through the League of Duty website. There is uh, sometimes a link to follow the games live from a statistical standpoint. So sometimes my son and I will watch the games and, and follow the team that way. But absolutely, I, I, every week I look to see where the team is in the standings and, and how they're performing. Well, I think, you know, they've, they've had a, uh, a so-so season to, to date. Uh, I think they're towards the bottom of the standings, and um, they've lost a couple of very, very close games. And um, I think Austin Freeman's had a fantastic season to date. Hopefully they can, you know, they can finish the season like they finished last year and make it to the playoffs. You know, without being there live, I can't tell you if the, the, the level is higher or not. I, I think the level was higher, and that's just my personal opinion. But I don't, I don't watch it enough to be able to tell you that. Oh, absolutely. He's one of my. He's probably my closest friend uh, from my times in Fort Lee. 
and uh, we communicate when we can. It's difficult to deal with him uh, during the season, but uh, he was just here in the States. Him and his family were here in the States last summer, spent uh, some time with, with my family here. And um, I'm hoping to return to his basketball camp. Um, if you can see it, I have a, I have a shirt on the, w, the WBSC uh, basketball uh, that uh, my son and I are going to attend uh, in, in, for the beginning of July, this summer. Well, after four league experience, I, I played uh, a little bit of time in Limoges, uh, then came back to Italy and played uh, in uh, Arese for two years. I played in Padova for a year, played in Rimini for a year, and then I, I, my last year I came back to league to play. Uh, after I left playing basketball in Italy, I started working for Sanofi, which is a pharmaceutical company. and. Uh, Started as a salesman and now I'm a quality manager and I work with hospitals uh, in health um, health systems on uh, improving quality of care of, of patients in, in, within their facilities. So uh, it's quite different than what I did, um, you know, playing basketball. From a basketball standpoint, I've um, been a coach here locally with a high school team, which is the same level as the um, junior team. Uh, so I've been involved in that for probably 11 years now. 11, 12 years I've been uh, you know, helping as, a, as a, just a volunteer coach. Say it again. Are you available? I'm available, but I don't think you want me. Um, I, uh, I, I'm, not, I'm about, um, let me think here, let me do the calculations. Um, I'm probably about 20 kilos heavier than when I played in Fort Lee, and uh, I just recently had my second back surgery. So I, uh, in June, I'm in not very good condition to play. So uh, mentally, mentally, I would be ready to play. Physically, would not be able to play. Oh, thank you, and I wish the team the best of luck uh, through the remainder of the season and. To all your um, the fans of Fort Lee, I want to, uh, on behalf of my wife and my family, I want to thank them for just their kindness and uh, openness uh, when uh, when I played there. Uh, it, it really has touched uh, both of us uh, very deeply that we always think back uh, of our time spent in Fort Lee with very, very fond memories.